My name is Angel Wood. This is Boston Emissions, local rock music every single Sunday night for the rest of your natural life, if I have any part in it. Thank you to Jaggery for sending this delightful ambient music by which I am talking over. And now, I want to take this moment right now to tell you, to end all speculation, the Rock and Roll Rumble rises again. It will take place in April, but coming up, I will tell you where it will be. All right, so earlier on in the program, you probably heard me mention that, yes, the Rock and Roll Rumble is coming back in 2011. Uh, I am more than excited to be able to share this information with you. I've been sitting on it for a long time. And coming up on the program, I'm going to tell you where it's going to happen. And uh, I'll introduce someone that will tell you where it's going to happen. So for the last couple of, mm, the last several weeks, I will leave it at that, there's been some sneaking around, stealthing around, uh, a lot of unanswered questions, a lot of ignored emails, Twitter posts, Facebook posts, and all of those things about, is the rumble going to happen? Well, yes, if you've been listening to the program, uh, the rock revolution is on, my friends, because the rumble returns. It will start Sunday, April 3rd, but I'm going to let this person tell you where it's going to be. I bring to you Randy Millman. It's going to be at the only place that it should be, Angel. T.T. the Bears, yeah. of course. Yeah. All right. So I know there's been a lot of speculation around the city, and that's okay, because it's okay to keep people wondering. It's okay to have people talking amongst themselves. Is it going to happen? Where is it going to happen? All of those things. But I've been sort of savoring this, this opportunity to do it, because it's really a labor of love. Uh, you know, things have definitely changed Things, it was, you know, a WBCN-related event for a long time. Of course, always associated with Boston Emissions. And it's something that I really wanted to do. I got the opportunity to do it in 2009 as a WBCN event. It didn't happen last year. And I think a lot of people missed it. I know I did. I missed it a lot. So in talking with, you know, a lot of people around the city, and uh, the opportunity presented itself to have it at TT's. It's never been at TT's. I am fascinated that it has never been at TT's, but no, it hasn't. And I, I don't understand how or why, but you know, we're one of the last independent, truly independent clubs standing. And um, we have, I don't know if anybody's heard this yet. I think some people are starting to, to, to figure this all out, but we have a new sound system, which is fantabulous in mm -hmm. our main room. Mm -hmm. uh, the big stacks on the side of the stage are gone, so now you can literally stand anywhere and actually see who's on the stage. Um, no so more obstructed view for the front row. No <laughs> more obstructed view. No, we don't have to put that on the tickets anymore, but the, the room is sounding really, really great. We're all very proud of it, um, and we also have our, our little side stage that we launched recently, which we can talk about later if we have time. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're really excited. I, I think TT's is the perfect place. We're completely committed to local music, always have been. I've been there. This is my 16th year booking TT's. I have to say that's a long time, but I still love it. It's in my heart, and we have a great crew over there, <laughs> Kevin Patey and Bonnie Booley, who owns the club. We're all so excited and committed to making this event huge. And I just want to make sure that everybody is aware of this, that this is something that that myself, uh, Randy, Kevin Patey, Bonnie, who she mentioned, we're, we're doing this as sort of a team. You know, I'm, I'm of course, spearheading it. Uh, you know, I'm, of course, there's going to be a lot of, you know, rolling up my sleeves, and, and there's going to be a lot of work to come. But um, this is probably different than you probably ever remember the Rumble being, but uh, it's not going to be done with any less love than it has been done in the past probably way more than it has ever been done in the past. More love. Speaking for more myself, no, nobody else that's ever done the Rumble before. I can't speak for anybody else that's done the Rumble in the past. Um, I just know that I cannot wait for this to happen. I cannot wait. 